Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Laura and I play The Sims 2. So guys, welcome back to episode 5 of our Uberhood Let's Play series. And today we are going to be starting our brand new family in Pleasant View, which is no other than Nina Caliente. So in the last episode, if you guys missed it, we finished our round off with the Goth household where it def we could definitely like categorically say that that episode was filled with drama filled with lots and lots of different things so if you've not watched it please watch it because obviously um you will be caught up with all the drama that happened but anyway that was that episode in this episode guys as i said we're going to be seeing nina caliente who is um dina's twin sister and um she is currently very heavily pregnant with either don or daniel's baby so we are going to be figuring out that out quite shortly because I'm pretty sure that Nina is actually going to be giving birth um, either today or tomorrow. So yeah, so I will load Dina's household up guys and I will be back with you once we are with her. Okay guys, so we are now at Nina's condo. And I've already showed this off in the introductionary video, but I still think it's very stunning. I mean, it catches your eye when you're looking like neighborhood view, especially. But yeah, this is Nina's condo, guys. And where is Nina? Nina is currently down here. She is still in the same position that she was in when um, we introduced her in her introductionary part of the video. So Nina, obviously we know... Oh. Oh, okay, she is giving birth. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. That's a quick um, quick introduction of Nina. She's giving birth to a baby. Um, so we are on the letter C. So we're going to have to think of a boy and a girl name. Oh, it's a little girl. And of course, guys, it is Don Lafario's baby. But we are going to go with Nina's last name because Don and her are not together. Well, they're not married anyway, so... We are going to uh, name the baby after Nina. Okay, guys, so we have got a lovely, little, beautiful baby girl. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go off and look at some names. So I'll be back in a minute once I've figured out what we're going to be calling this little bundle of joy. Okay guys, I have found a very cute name for this baby girl. We're going to be calling her Cassidy. Cassidy Caliente. Um, I just did a quick Google search, I'll be honest, because um, I wasn't expecting this baby to be here so quickly. But anyway, we have got little Cassidy, Cass um, Cassidy Caliente here. And she is, oh my God, she is very much like a Don Lafario. Um, I mean... She's got Nina's eyes, but she is going to look like Don, I reckon. But obviously, a lot of people don't know who the father of this baby is. So we are just going to say that she had a one night stand with someone. That is what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm quickly just going to get um, this room renovated for little Cassidy. So I will be back again, guys. Just one moment. Okay guys, I am back and I've just done a little quick little makeover for Cassidy's room. So Nina is going to come upstairs and give Cassidy a quick bottle. And um, yeah, she is going to start adapting to motherhood, which is very interesting for Nina. Um, obviously, I know a lot of people have Nina um, have a baby with either Don or um, a random townie. And, um, you know... I didn't do this accident. I did this accidentally, really. Um, obviously, Nina got pregnant through um, having her um, little fling that she had with Don, and um, it has resulted in Cassidy, obviously. Um, but as I explained in my um, my introductionary video, I want something different for Nina. I don't really want to be classing her as a um, cheat, really, anymore. Because um, I'm getting bored of this storyline for one. But also, I think Nina 
because she's come out as a knowledge sim for me in um, this playthrough of my um, of my game. I want to put her brains to good use, so I do actually want her to be successful. Um, you know, I feel like now she's getting to a point where she wants to grow up now. She wants to leave all of her party and fling days behind her. And um, she wants better for herself. And now that she's got Cassidy, she definitely knows 100% that she wants to, you know, make it big and save as much money as she can for Cassidy for when she grows up. And um, that reminds me, I've got to turn Cassidy's age off. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's one of them where I do want the best for Nina and her um, baby. Because we can all agree that Nina has not been the most innocent of people um, in Pleasant View. She has potentially, um, obviously, destroyed a marriage between Don and Cassandra. That's if Cassandra ever finds out about it. Uh, but she is one of the guilty party people with that affair. Um, and, you know, I think now, as I keep saying, she has had this realisation that, you know, it can't just all be about woohooing and going after people who I shouldn't be with. Um, and as you can see here, look, she wants to study about parenting now. So she does want to try and she does want to um, obviously help herself and help her daughter. So I think that's what we're going to be mainly focusing on with Nina. So, yeah, we are going to try our best to help her with that. But anyway, so Nina is not at work, so she's actually got the day off. So that is helpful for us. But um, obviously, now that she's a single mum, Nina is going to find it very hard to probably adapt to being um, a single parent because we know that she likes her job. We know that she, um, you know, wants to make it big, but she's going to have to really juggle her life around to cater for both of them. Um, these um, priorities in her life so I'm actually going to call a nanny to track her schedule she's got enough money for a nanny so that's fine but the nanny's going to come and look after Cassidy when Nina is at work but she is actually going to make it work because she does want to carry on working she does want to be a business type woman well not a business type woman but a, um, a hard working mum is what I meant to say so yeah, we are definitely going to help her with that. But anyway, I'm going to get Nina to come and um, have some breakfast because she's getting slightly hungry. And um, it looks like here she wants to study parenting and have a house party. So um, I'm going to keep that one in for the party because um, technically um, it's going to be her birthday. Oh my god, Nina. Goodness me. These Sims like starting fires, don't they? <laughs> Goodness me, Nina. Don't worry, don't panic. The fireman is here. Don't panic. There we go, we're all fine. <laughs> Good job I remembered to put these fire alarms in, isn't it? Right? Most of my sims will probably be dead by now. Um, but yes, what was I saying? That was it. Oh, Nina. She's actually eating it. Well, too late now. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to save that party once for when... Um, it is Nina's birthday because technically her birthday is the same day as Dina's because they're twins. So she is actually going to be aging up on the last day of fall. So we will save that one for her. Right, you are gagging on that, so stop eating it. Clean it up and then you're going to have to make something else, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to save that one for her birthday. Um, I'm going to have her probably study some parenting because obviously she doesn't really know a lot about looking after a kid. Um... Well, obviously, this is her um, first child. So um, she is going to... It's all new to her. And she's going to have to learn how to do things for herself. Because um, although she does have Dina as her sister and Dina's had two kids, I don't necessarily think Dina... Well, we know Dina is not a very maternal person anyway. So she is not going to be the best person to ask for baby advice. Because basically, Dina does not look after her kids. <laughs> She's got the butler, her husband and Alexander to do it for her. So, you know, she can't really ask her twin sister for advice. So she is going to have to learn things by the book and she's going to have to um, learn for herself, unfortunately. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I'm debating, to be honest, whether or not I'm going to let Don have any involvement with this baby. Um, I only say this because I don't necessarily think um, 
Don won't be a good father. He's an excellent father at times to his children. Um, but I think it's more on the purposes that um, no one knows that this is Don's kid. And I don't even think Don knows that um, he's got Nina pregnant either. So it is going to be a big shock to Don if he finds out. But um, <clears throat> um, hello. What are you doing in my house, mister? What are you doing here? Um, excuse me? Mr. Cooper, what what are you doing here? Oh. Well, okay then. Yes, you can help yourself to my bar, if you really must. What the hell? <laughs> but anyway, we'll just ignore him for a minute. So yeah, I don't um think it would be really appropriate for um Don to find out in a way. Just because, obviously, it is meant to be a big secret. And, as I said, he doesn't know that um, he got Nina pregnant in the first place. But let me know what you guys think about that one. Should I involve Don or shouldn't I? You know, I'll let you guys decide that one for me. Because um, I can imagine there's going to be some very different answers from a lot of you. But um, I'll be interested to see what you guys actually think. But at the moment, we'll just say that he is having no involvement at the moment. But this might change in the future. But anyway, so Nina's just having a shower at the moment because she got a bit stinky from that fire and she needs some fun. So I'm going to go have her come and watch some telly once she has done that. And then I'm probably going to have her study this parroting one after her fun's up a little bit more. And then we might even see if Nina wants to go into downtown for a little bit later on. Because she has been cooped up in this house for a number of months with being pregnant, obviously. So she feels like she needs a bit of a... Um, a little bit of excitement in her life. Oh, she's got a sports activity. That's good. So sports is Nina's hobby. So um, I might even change that to fitness though because she's not actually... Oh my... Right. I'm sorry, Mr. Cooper, but you're going to have to leave. I wish they would leave this bloody Teddy alone. Honest to God, it's one of the most annoying things in this game. <laughs> right. Stay there. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot these two have a thing. Right, well, anyway. Yes, you, Nina. You're going to watch some telly. You need to have your fun up. So yeah, I think I'm actually going to change Nina's hobby to fitness. If I can find my sim blender. Do I have a sim blender? I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, it's on the top here. So yeah, I'm going to change her hobby to fitness because I don't think she would really be into sports, but she is obviously into fitness with all this gym gear in her house. So I've changed it to that instead. But anyway, she's just going to come and watch some TV, get her fun up a little bit more. And um, I'm probably going to have her study a bit of parenting. So let's have a look. Study parenting. There we go. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have Nina probably look at this for a while and then I will come back when we go out a bit later into downtown. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so I've had Nina spend a good majority of the afternoon reading about parenting and she is three quarters of the way there. But I am going to have her stop now because um, I do want her to go out tonight and um, mingle with a load of people. So she is going to come and use the toilet. She's going to get herself ready. And um, we're going to eat out tonight, I reckon. And then we're going to call the nanny over to see if she can come and watch the little one. Um, I don't know who we're going to invite out with her necessarily. Um, she was friends with Brandy, but now their relationship has toiled a little bit. So I might ask Brandy if she wants to go out. So obviously this would be a nice opportunity for us to catch up with Brandy. So we'll phone the nanny up and see if she'll come over just to watch the baby whilst we're out. Just for now. And then we will change into our formal wear. Because I'm pretty sure Nina's got a cocktail dress as her formal wear. Which is fine. And then we will teleport Miss Brandy Broke over and um, get her to come out with us. So let's just teleport, enable some menu. Right, we'll invite Brandy over. And then we're going to um, ask and form casual group just for fun. There we go. 
Right, where is Brandy gone? I bet she's still out. I bet she's in the hot tub. Oh no, she's not. Do we even have a hot tub? I cannot remember. I don't think we do. Why are you going up here when she's not up here? Oh my god, where has she gone? Oh my god, she's here, Nina. <laughs> Dearing me. Right, you see, I thought she left then. But anyway, let's just fast forward this along quickly. She's like, yeah, I'm up for that. Oh my God, she, oh my God, I forgot Nina's bisexual. Nina's bisexual. So she does find Brandy attractive, which, um, you know, there's a potential storyline there, guys. What if um, Brandy um, becomes interested in Nina instead of a man? That would be definitely a good storyline to tell, I reckon. But let me know what you think about that one as well. Um, anyway, so I am actually going to gussy up um, Miss Brandy here because I don't think she has got a very good formal wear on. We'll just say that Nina lent her one of her dresses um, because obviously Brandy doesn't have the money to buy new clothes um, with her being quite poor. Um, so we'll just say to Nina, we'll just say to Brandy, Brandy, girl, you need a makeover. Let me give you one of my dresses and we can go out partying together. And don't worry, the drinks are on me tonight. And Brandy's like... Ah, oh, that, that would be lovely. Thank you so much, Nina. And anyway, so let's get um, Brandy all dazzled up. Okay, guys, so I have given Miss Brandy Broke one of Nina's dresses. Um, a little bit revealing, but um, it's all fine. Um, but yeah, Nina is um, very loving, uh, loving, live, very lovely to Brandy. Because she does feel sorry for her. She's um, really good friends with her. And she just wants to um, obviously um, make Brandy's life a little bit happier. With um, taking her out. You know, having a good um, time together. So, yeah. It's um, quite sweet really that she thinks about Brandy. But anyway guys, we're going to be going out on the town. And I reckon we're going to go to a nightclub. Um, I know it's Sunday night, but don't worry. We're going to go until party until really early. One of my favourite places to go with my sims. But anyway, off we go. We're going to walk there and I'll be back when we are at the lot. Okay, everybody, we have now turned up to the lot. And, um, oh my God, is there really no music playing? <laughs> There's no DJ here. Why is there no DJ? Um... Okay, I'm a bit confused right now. But anyway, um, I'm going to get um, just a random townie, honestly. Oh my God, Ray's here. Ray is here. Hello, Mr. Ray. So for those of you who don't know who Ray is, Ray is the townie that Cassandra Goff has had a bit of a, um, uh, a little bit of a romantic to do with. And um, I'm going to make him our DJ for the night. <laughs> you know, why not? It's all fun. Anyway, he's going to come and um, do some DJing, you know, have some fun. So, you know, here we go. Right, so let's make him unselectable. Right. Oh, my God. What's happened with Nina? I am going to cheat Nina's knees up a little bit because we had a quite a while um, getting ready. But anyway, they're over here. How about you do a spin? Um, oh, my God. Brandy's going to do one. Okay, Miss Brandy. I'm actually going to make you selectable for a moment. But these girls are having fun. How about you watch her? You're like, yeah, go Brandy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Oh dear. Poor, poor, uh, poor Brandy. Oh my God. She's laughing at her. She's like, get up you clumsy fool. <laughs> Let's see if Nina can do it. Um... Oh dear. Um, did I just see Brandy's stomach um, expand then? Brandy cannot be pregnant again, surely. Right, I'm going to make it unselectable just in case. But anyway, uh, Brandy is um, laughing at this poster. I'm not sure why, but she is. Anyway, Nina looks like she's having a fun time. She is actually keeping her balance on the wheel fairly well. Um... 
but I could not imagine this being very safe in a real life scenario. But it looks quite fun. But she is doing really well. Oh, oh, I said I said that too soon. Oh dear. Poor Nina. But anyway, let's um talk to Brandy a bit more. Because obviously we've come out to talk to Brandy. And um we're going to have a fun time with her. Oh, she looks like she's about to use the bathroom. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, looks like we've got a bunch of sims here. So how about we um, we go and um, party with these sims? Looks like everyone's having fun. She's talking to Brandy in the toilet. She's like, are you having fun, Brandy? And Brandy's like, I'm having the best time. Thank you very much, um, Nina, for inviting me out. I really appreciate it. So yeah, them two are having a nice little girly chat in the bathroom. But anyway, Nina's like, come on, let's go dance on the dance floor. And Brandy's like, yeah, sure thing, I'm coming. Right, where is Nina? Oh my God, she's behind the bar. I'm pretty sure, can't they dance on um, the bar at times? I'm not too sure, but anyway. Um, oh my God, what is Alexander Goff doing here? Why are they teenagers on this lot? <laughs> it's supposed to be a nightclub. Oh my god. Mr. Tang. Oh my god. Not Mr. Tang. Mr. Ray has stopped DJing. I don't think so, Mr. Ray. You need to continue DJing. There we go. Yeah, a little break, guys. It's fine. Anyway, oh dear, Nina is um, picking an argument with someone. Craig Tom Tomioy, whoever this is, looks like um, they are not um, being nice to each other at all. They're actually arguing. Oh dear, not good. He probably tried to hit on her and um, she's like, eh, no way. I'm not interested, thank you. Um, but anyway, she's going to go and get herself a drink at the bar. So I'll have a um, vodka and coke, please. <laughs> the barman's not even paying attention to us. He's like, oh yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway. So it's actually quite busy for a Sunday night. I'm quite surprised. But anyway. So Nina's got her drink now. Where's Brandy gone? Brandy. Oh, she's in here. I'm not sure what she's up to, but she's mingling, I reckon. She's kind of going to come and join um, Nina for a drink, I reckon. Uh, oh, no, she's talking... Oh, my, she's talking to this guy who was very... Um, not very nice to Nina. Oh, now she's talking to Cersei Beaker. <laughs> I wouldn't go get involved with that woman if I was you, Brandy. Just a heads up. But anyway, um, let's dance with Brandy. Let's do a little dance with her. Have a fun-loving party session with Brandy. There we go. So they are equally having fun with one another. Shake it, girl. Shake it. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. They're having fun. That's the main thing. Oh, what's this girl doing? Is she checking out Brandy as well? Everyone just loves the sight of Brandy. And to be fair, she is a very hot mama. So I'm not surprised. But anyway. So, um, Miss Brandy. What are you going to do now? She keeps walking off and then coming back in. I'm actually quite intrigued to see what she's doing. Um, oh, she's getting hungry. She's going to go and order some candy from the vending machine. Well, have fun with that, Miss Brandy. Right, anyway, Nina, what are you doing now? Um, how about you get to meet some people, um, Brandy? Why don't you come and meet Vidk and Curious? That's going to be an interesting little meet-up with someone. Where are you gone? No, don't admire the art. Oh, my God, me. Oh, there's a vampire here. Oh, Miss Contessa Nikki Lanchild. Ooh, interesting. Um, how about you come meet Brandon Lillard? See what he's all about. 
So Brandon Lillard is a known romance sim, guys. So um, I look how, oh my God, his face is not very nice. <laughs> I mean, no offense, Brandon, but yeah. Oh, she has no chemistry with him. That's probably a good thing. Um, but anyway, so Brandy has finished with um, her chocolate clusters, I think she got. And she's going to go outside. Um, but anyway, let's go and talk to her. Let's go a bit of a gossip. Oh my God, she is really got the hearts of Brandy. You know, I don't actually um, blame her as such. But um, I kind of want to influence this, guys, because um, I do think it would make a very interesting storyline. We could probably say that, um, you know, the both of them got a bit drunk and um, they decided to, um, you know, um, you know, flirt with one another and actually um, show a little bit of interest in one another. So we could always do that. So Nina is just going to go in for a hug here. And oh my gosh, Brandy has reciprocated this. So, oh my God. Okay, guys. So they have now got crushes on each other. Oh my God, that is amazing. Oh my God, she's flirting with her. How about, I'm, like, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Let's see if she responds. Oh my god, the face Nina is pulling right now. <laughs> oh, it's ruining the cutscene, Nina. Why do you have to pull that face? <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah. <laughs> How about we have a bit of... Oh, she didn't really want to do that. Well, I'm sorry, Nina, but... um. I thought you had an interest in her. But anyway, guys, let's go back to the house now, I think, because they're both getting a little bit tired now and um, they've had one too many to drink, I think. So they're going to go back and, um, you know, rest up and see how they feel in the morning about each other. But anyway, I'll see you guys when we get back to the house. Okay, guys, we are back with Nina and Brandy. They have just got home and... Um, yeah, things got pretty heated at the club, it's fair to say. And, um, you know, I don't think either one of them were expecting to, um, you know, make the move on one another. Um, but anyway, I think we are actually going to um, end the casual group for now. Um, we'll say goodbye to Brandy. Nina's just going to give her a little kiss just to obviously, you know, try and make her own mind up about what she feels for Brandy. So they're going to go and um, we're going to dismiss the nanny. And then we're going to probably go to bed now because she's absolutely tired. In fact, no, we'll keep the nanny on until she wakes up because Brandy needs to go to bed. She is really, really tired. Um, she's not going to have that long to sleep, though, unfortunately, because she has actually got work. But anyway, guys, I'm going to fast forward um, a little bit now. I'm going to let Brandy sleep and we'll see what we get up to a little bit later on. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so I have just got a chance card for Nina at work. So Nina is preparing for the biggest video shoot of her life when she finds out that all of her backup dancers are stuck in an airport, in an airport, <laughs> in an airport, many miles away. With no way to get new dancers quickly, she has two choices. Have the video feature Nina as the only dancer or edit in lots of stock footage to cover for all the portions that would have featured backup dancers. Which one should she pick? Um... I think Nina probably wouldn't miss the opportunity to outshine herself. So I think it would just feature Nina. Oh dear. So it didn't go so well, but she's only lost a creativity skill point. So that's fine. We don't need to worry too much about that. But um, yeah, I think Nina's been doing a lot of thinking while she's been at work. And I think we are going to invite Brandy over later just to talk about what happened um, last night. And, um, you know, they're going to talk things out. They're going to obviously, um, you know, ask each other, well, how do um, how do you feel about me? You know, um, should we make this a thing? You know, she's going to um, 
actually asked Brandy these questions and she wants to go on a date. So I think this would be a good opportunity to do that, to be honest. Um, but anyway, let's um, have a shower and then we will see if Brandy will come over and we can, um, you know, see if um, they can probably spark a little bit of a romance with one another. Because, um, you know, I never expected this to happen, guys, I'll be honest. This has totally just happened out of the blue. And um, I never, ever thought about Nina and Brandy together. Honestly, throughout all the years I've been playing The Sims, I have never once had Brandy and Nina get together. Um, but I think it might be quite an interesting match, to be honest. Um, obviously, Nina has always been bisexual in my game, but Brandy... I've never had her be bisexual. Never had her be with a woman ever. She's always been with men. And you know what? I think I think I quite like the idea of these two being together, I'll be honest. But anyway, so let's ask if she'll go on a date with us. Well, we'll say a date. We'll say like a little meet-up. And we're going to meet on a community lot. We'll take our car. Hopefully the nanny's still here. Um, let's go to Blue Water Village. Um, we'll go to the 50s diner, I reckon. Please tell me the nanny is still here. Is the nanny still here? I don't want the nanny to leave. Oh my God, the nanny's not here. Right, hang on. Hang on, Nina, you need to call the nanny. Uh, oh my God. Oh, I should have phoned the nanny first. Damn it. All right. We're going to have to... Um... Hang on. Oh, but Brandy's going to get really mad with us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, oh, damn it. That has really mucked my plans up. Hang on, guys. I'm just going to sort this out really quickly. Right, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. I had to mess about. Um, basically, I had to um, go back into Neighbourhood Move and unsave the game because um, it turns out um, Brandy got really mad with um, Nina for technically missing out on their date. So um, I had to um, basically not save any of the progress that was made and I had to go back and do it all. But um, don't worry, we are now sorted. So... Um, we're just carrying on from when Dina got back home from work. And um, as I said before, she is going to possibly invite over Brandy to obviously talk about things and, um, you know, see where they both stand on things. Because um, obviously things got quite heated in the nightclub last night. And, um, you know, I think they just want some closure for one another, really, because um, it came out of the blue and... Um, you know, Nina wants to know what Brandy is thinking right now because they are best friends. They are really good friends, have been for a while and she doesn't obviously want to ruin that relationship with um, herself and Brandy. Um, but she definitely does have some sort of feeling towards her. Um, so I reckon instead of going on a date, I'm actually going to have Brandy come over and, um, you know, we'll see if... Oh my God, what is Nina wearing? <laughs> we'll see... Um, you know what they think but anyway so we'll invite brandy over i'm gonna have to change this because i need i know <laughs> uh no you're just gonna come on your own brandy so um hey girl i need you just to come over um i think we need to talk about last night really and she said oh yeah absolutely i will um just um you know go and get ready but anyway we need to shoo this karen gas off like, go away, please. We are expecting visitors. Goodbye. <laughs> but anyway, she's going to go home now, I reckon. And here is Brandy. So we will greet her with a earthly hug. So we're just going to be casual. We're like, hi, hun, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. And we're just going to serve some spaghetti. Yes, I know you find her attractive, Nina. <laughs> um, so we'll cook some dinner for the both of them. Um, Brandy's just going to be sitting in the living room waiting and Nina's going to um, start cooking. And Nina's just thinking right now, oh, what on earth am I going to say to her? Um, you know, it was a little bit awkward, actually. I, um, 
I don't know what I'm going to say to her. I mean, I do like her, but I don't know. Does she like me back? And, you know, all thoughts are going through her mind at the moment. Um, but we'll just see, obviously, what happens when the both of them, you know, sit down and actually talk to one another. So, you know. But anyway, um, so we're going to call Tamil. Let's call Brandy over. She's like, Brandy, um, spaghetti's ready. And Brandy's going to come on over. She's like, oh, Nina, it smells absolutely gorgeous. You've done a really nice job here. And Nina's like, oh, well, thank you. But anyway, oh, my God, why is Brandy sat all the way over here? You know what? It's fine. We'll cope with it. So, yeah. <laughs> Brandon's going to bring it up. She's like, so, um, about last night, Nina, I, um, I was actually quite shocked about what happened. And Nina's like, yeah, I was shocked as well. Um, I blamed it on the drink initially, but, um, you know, I, um, I, I've got to be honest, Brandy, I've, um, been having a little bit of you know, some sort of feeling towards you for quite a while now, I'll be honest. And Brandy's like, what do you mean you've had some sort of feeling towards me? And um, Nina's going to be like, well, I'm not going to push around the bush, really. I'm just going to come out and say it. I do like you, Brandy. And um, I didn't want to say anything because um, I knew that um, you were into guys. And, um, you know, I just, Nina, stop walking away. All right, just talk to her. We'll come and talk to her over here, please. Oh my God, what are you doing? Right, tell a joke. So yeah, I um, I didn't want to like come on too strong because I knew that you were into guys and I didn't know how you felt about me, etc. So yeah, I'm um, I'm not gonna push around the bush. And I'm just basically gonna say I like you, okay? And um, if you don't like me back, then that's cool. I totally understand. And then Brandy's just like laughing. She's like, oh Nina how can you possibly like me like I'm at least 10 years older than you and you know there is a bit of an age gap between these two and um, Brandy's 36 and um, Nina is 26 at the moment so Brandy is a little bit older and wiser I'd like to say than Nina is but um, Nina doesn't care about this she's um, very much you know a fan of Brandy and she's saying this to her she's like oh I'm not bothered about the age difference you know you've been a really really good friend to me over these few years and obviously I have grown closer to you because of this and you know I mean I'm I know I'm asking a lot here Brandy but um you know would you be willing to um see how this relationship goes with us perhaps and Brandy's like well I've never been with a girl before but um I'll be honest Nina I did feel a little bit of something as well last night and um you know I'll be interested to see where that goes myself and um you know, I'm willing to give it a go. So um, I guess, sure, we can um, try something. And Nina is actually going to be really happy about this. She's going to, um, um, how about we caress her? Um, we're not going to come on too strong tonight. We're just going to like say, she's like, oh, well, thank you, Brandy. It means a lot. And, you know, I hope I make you happy. And she's like, I'm sure you will. <gasps> oh, my God, they fell in love. Oh my god. Oh my god. They've both fallen in love with each other. Oh, that is so cute. Anyway, they're gonna just do a little bit of a kiss. Oh, Brad Nina, stop moaning. <laughs> they're gonna have a bit of a kiss with one another, and then I think we're just gonna leave it there tonight. Um Nina's like, Well, I guess I'll call you tomorrow then. And Brandy's like, Okay, see you soon. So that was a very bittersweet moment. So um I guess these two are now dating, which is um <laughs> A complete shock to the system. <laughs> I know, as I said, I never imagined them two would ever be a couple as such, but um, I find it quite sweet actually. So obviously, let me know what you guys think in the comments about this. I'm so excited to hear what you guys have got to say about her and Brandy. I personally love it. I think it's such a cute little match. So yeah. But anyway, guys, I'm actually going to send Nina to bed now. Well, I'm going to get her to come and see Cassidy really quickly because she's not really, like, um, have much involvement with Cassidy today. Um, but I am going to get her to feed her a bottle. And she's going to cuddle her a little bit. And then we're going to put her back to bed and use the toilet. And then we will get to bed. 
which is all good. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go skip to the morning now, and it's actually going to be Nina's birthday tomorrow, so um, all fun and games. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, everybody, good morning. It is a Tuesday morning, and it's about half past six, nearly. And Nina is about to get up now because she it's her birthday today, everybody. So she is now 27 years old. And um, she has got a big day today. She's got to go to work, unfortunately, I think. Oh, no, she's off today. Oh, that's brilliant. So anyway, she's going to go and run herself a bath. And she needs to unclog this toilet. And then she's going to come and feed Cassidy a bottle. So yeah, it's um, her 27th birthday today and she is going to be throwing a party a bit later on, um, inviting her sister and everybody around. And this will actually give us an opportunity to give Dina her birthday present from the last episode because obviously um, Nina was heavily pregnant at Dina's um, party. So um, I couldn't select her to give Dina her present or else she would have given birth literally any second when I had um, tried to do that. So... We're going to um, get um, Nina to give Dina her present and then we'll get Dina to do the same with Nina. Um, but either way, guys, um, as I um, keep going on about, um, Miss Nina here and Brandy are now a... They're sort of seeing each other now. They've not made it official official. But they are going to try things out with one another. They're going to see if um, they feel comfortable being with one another on like a dating sort of um, relationship sort of thing. And they're going to see where it goes. So I'm going to invite Brandy to the party as well. And um, yeah, we'll just see how things go with these two. Um, but anyway, Nina is focused on clearing the house this morning. She wants to make sure the house is nice and tidy, ready for the party later on. And um She's um, going to be inviting her guests over this afternoon. Um, I think I'm going to spend the rest of the morning slash afternoon getting her to get this parenting um, skill point because she does desperately want that. So I will get her to try and achieve that this morning. Um, otherwise, we're not doing a lot with Nina today. She is just having a chilled out day. You know, Nina is never one for um, making a fuss of her birthday, but... Um, she is just having some peace and quiet reading her book. So I'm going to let her do this for a few hours, guys, and I'll be back when we throw the party. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I am back with Nina and she is just doing some of her exercises this afternoon. She managed to get her skill point in that parenting book. So she's very proud of herself for doing that. Um, we are going to attend to little Cassidy now because her nappy needs changing and we'll feed her a bottle whilst we're at it. And then Nina is going to get herself ready for the party. Um, we're going to get her to use the toilet and have a shower and then we'll actually invite some guests over. So all are very exciting and there is a dirty bottle underneath there. I need to grab it because that is just going to annoy me. Oh my God, where's it gone? Where has it gone? There we go. Right, let's pop that teddy bear back there. Nina's going to be like, come here, little one. Let's get your nappy changed. Get you ready for the day. So there she goes. She's going to give her a nice bottle to have. And then she'll put her back in there. Clear this up. Use the toilet. And then have a shower. So I'm trying to think who we can invite to Nina's birthday. Um, so obviously we're going to invite Dina. Um, she's going to come with Mortimer. Um, I'm obviously going to invite Brandy. I might even try and invite um, this um, Christy Stratton, who is supposed to be one of her friends. Um, who else can we invite? Um, I might invite over Jennifer, to be fair. Um, she can get to know Jennifer Berb a little bit better. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it, to be honest. Um, I don't know. We'll have a look at the list when um, um, she phones up for some party guests. Because um, Nina doesn't really know that many people. So I do want to invite some, like, strangers over so she can get to know them a bit better. And actually, um, you know, uh, start to make some relationships with people. Because I do think Nina would be sort of a friendly person. I mean... It does actually say in her personality she is quite shy, so um, probably not, actually. But um, 
we'll throw a party anyway and we will see who is on the list that we can invite so she's going to ring up now so obviously we're going to invite um brandy we'll invite jennifer and john oh no i'm not going to invite john if dean is coming um mortimer um who else can we invite over we'll invite alexander over why not um how about we invite dustin over brandy's son um who else can we invite over where's christy stratton here she is we'll invite christy over and i think that will do for the party guest list i reckon which is all good and nina is going to um serve some food i reckon we'll make a group meal of grilled cheese sandwiches just to chill out on no nina do not write in your diary you need to get ready for your guests coming over. Oh, here we go. We've got a load of people who have come over. So it looks like Christy has not showed up and Neva has... Um, uh, oh, just Christy that's not shown up. Oh, well, that's okay then. Only one person's not turned up. I don't mind that so much. But anyway, everyone's here now. Um, Nina is literally just focusing on getting some food ready for her guests. Which is absolutely fine. And they look some very nice sandwiches there, Nina, if I say so myself. So she's just going to serve these to her guests. That's it. And um, we'll see, obviously, if people want to come and eat. I know Nina's very hungry. So let's get Nina to come and um, have a plate. Why do you have to pick it up there, Nina? Right, it doesn't look like anyone's hungry, which is obviously a shame. But anyway, let's get Nina to talk to her guests. How about we greet her sister, first of all? Right, um, Dina. Right, she's going to hug her. Oh my God, did she just say Dina? It sounded like she just said Dina just then. She's like, hi, Dina. And then they're going to be like, oh, thank Right, anyway, we need to give Dina her gift from her birthday. And then we're going to have to try and figure out what Dina can get Nina. Um, we'll give her a little makeup box. So I, this is for you. Your birthday present finally came, Dina. She's like, oh my God, thank you, sis. I really love it. Right. I'm just going to quickly have a look at what Dina can give Nina, guys. Just bear with me one moment. Okay, guys, I've had a little quick look. And I think um, Dina and Mortimer have... Um, you know, spent quite an expensive gift on Nina um, for her birthday. And they're going to give her an exercise bike for her birthday because obviously Dina knows how much Nina likes exercising. And um, she's given this for her birthday. She's like, happy birthday, sis. I hope you enjoy. She's like, oh my God, Dina, you shouldn't have spent this much money on me. And Dina's like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, you're my sister after all. So anyway, they're going to be talking to each other for a little bit. And um, I reckon Nina might um, bring up the fact to Dina that she is sort of seeing someone. And Dina's like, oh my God, who? And um, Nina is not actually going to like reveal this as of yet. Because um, I think Nina's a bit nervous about Dina's reaction to her dating um, Brandy. And um, obviously she does not want her sister to judge her until she knows for certain that, um, you know, she's going to be okay with it. So she's just going to say, oh, it's just someone that I met in the club the other night. Um, I think we're really going to have a, um, you know, a good little um, relationship at the minute. But we're just seeing how it's, go how it's going to go at the moment. It's very early stages. And Dina's like, oh, OK, hun. But at least make sure they're nice to you and, you know, um, make sure they treat you well. And Nina's like, well, I'm sure they will. Um, you know, I've got very good faith in this person. And Dina's like, they better do else they've got me to answer to. And anyway, they're just chatting along, which is all fun. But anyway, so let's see if we can talk now to Miss Brandy over here. Um, so Nina's going to come on over to Brandy. She's going to be like, hey, you. Um, yeah, I, I, I've basically told Dina that um, I'm seeing someone, but I, don't worry, I've not said it's you yet. And Brandy's like, I think it's probably a little bit too early to... Um, you know, be talking about this, um, Nina. You know, I have only agreed to see you to see how things go. I'm not in anything serious at the moment. 
And he's like, oh, don't worry, yeah, I know. I'm not forcing anything on you at all. It's just obviously... I need to make my sister aware that um, I'm obviously seeing someone because she has a habit of setting me up with all these guys and, you know, I'm going to have to tell her obviously why I can't and Brandon's like, oh, okay, that's fine. But anyway, they're just talking. They're um, just having a bit of a chit-chat, which is obviously um, very exciting. But anyway, so the party's ha being good. We're having a good time, which is um, really good. Um, I struggle to know what to do for Nina really because I hate playing single like families in general because obviously you can focus on other people in the household when you have got a full house but um, Nina is practically on her own at the minute so it's hard to come up with different like storylines for her at the minute like be being on her own I mean in the house um, but yeah but I think we've done okay so far we've managed to get her um, to see Brandy a little bit so that's um, okay um, it looks like the party's going to end soon though so I'm going to have um, Nina probably just eat um, this grilled cheese sandwich and then um, I think everyone's pretty much going to go home at that point when she's done um, oh it's a roof razor <laughs> I don't know why it's a roof razor raise. we've not really done much but um, she had a good birthday party anyway um, Nina is one for obviously liking very small like um, circles um, of friendship etc so she is not too bothered about a bit having a big fancy birthday do like her sister is so um, yeah she's um, she's doing okay so it looks like the dishwasher is broke or the trash compartment whatever it's called I'm going to have Nina try and fix it and there we go she's done that and Cassidy is crying bless her so let's come and um, give her some attention there we go right wonderful so I'm going to give her a bottle and then she's going to put Cassidy to bed excellent and then you can clear this bottle up as well you can have the toilet, wash your hands, have a shower, and then I think we're going to send you to bed pretty much. So guys, that is basically Nina's birthday over and done with. So now I'm just going to get all these knees done for her and then I'm going to send her to bed. So I will see you in the morning. Okay guys, good morning. It is a Wednesday morning at about half past five, just gone. Nina is up bright and early this morning. It is the first day of winter, so we are halfway through this episode already with Nina. Time is going by very quickly. Um, but anyway, so Nina is just having some breakfast this morning. She is, um, I believe she is not at work today. No, she's not. Um, but I do want to try and focus on getting Nina some of these skill points. She does want to reach a mechanical level two and body skill level seven. So... Oh my gosh, she's crying. It's because they've recently been burgled and she's um, crying her eyes out over the burglar as they do. But anyway, so I'm going to get Nina to come and give Cassidy a bottle. Um, hold Cassidy and give her a bottle. And then um, we will focus on her exercise this morning. Now put Cassidy in the crib, please. Thank you tidy this up uh actually she needs a bit of fun so should we get her to watch a bit of telly before she works out there we go we'll put the sim dance channel on but yeah so nina's just chilling out really um she doesn't really have any interesting wants at the moment which is obviously a shame um because i would like her to go out again um but I don't know where I would send her to. In fact, I have just put in a new gym in Pleasant View. So I might even send her to the gym for a bit. Yeah, let's do that. No, not Sim. Oh my God. No. Call service. Uh, I'll come and get the nanny to watch Cassidy. And then we'll go over to the gym. I'm pretty sure I've put a gym in Pleasant View. I'm going to have to check. But um, I'm pretty sure that... Um, there is one in um, Pleasant View. We'll find out either way. But anyway, Nina, go and get dressed into your gym clothes. 
and then we will head on over to the gym. All right, come down here. You can fill in this whilst you're waiting for the nanny to come. Here she is. The nanny is here and we have got Karen again, Karen Gas, which is all fun. Um, interesting thing, guys. I had no idea about this feature. I'll show you in a minute once um, Nina has finished doing this. So I actually got this from one of Marty Core's videos. So if you just press Pleasant View from where you'd like to go, it actually takes you back to the neighborhood map and you actually get to choose where you want to go. I never knew this was actually a feature. I'm quite excited to actually see, um, obviously this happen. But yeah, it comes up obviously with the neighborhood map and you can actually um, see like what places are in Pleasant View. I never knew you could do this. So I was um, quite happy when she showed me in, well, not, her showing me but when she actually showed us like how to do it see look it comes up with where would you like to go and then you can literally choose any of the community lots I never knew you could do this and you know pretend that you got even got a little car look here so you can go all the way up here and then we can turn yes I knew I had a gym here 20 hour wellness gym and this is actually a recreation of the sims free gym in Sunset Valley so um, if you guys are interested, by the way, there is a Sunset Valley template in The Sims 2. Uh, I'm not sure what the creator's name was, but you can download it off uh, if you just Google it. And they have redone the whole of um, Sunset Valley in The Sims 2. And I have basically just put this gym into my Pleasant View because um, obviously look at it. It is literally a li like a replica of The Sims 3 gym. And I like it. But anyway, guys, so Nina has turned up to the gym look and she is going to be um, coming down here. I think we're going to start off by, um, do we have any restrooms? Uh, where's the restrooms? Ah, here. So we're going to use the toilet first of all. Um, we'll wash our hands after that. And then let's try and pump some iron for Nina. Um, we will work out on one of these machines for now. So yeah, um, I'll show you the gym. So it is literally a replica of The Sims 3 gym, guys. So I think if you've ever played The Sims 3, you will know exactly how this looks in the game. But for those of you who don't, it's basically a little entranceway here. We've got the pool at the bottom um, with a refreshment bar area over here. We've got the toilets and showers among here. And then upstairs, we have got like a little mini dance studio, um, another like um bath area and seating area and then we've got the running machines and the pumping iron machines over here as well so yeah it's um it's definitely quite nice um i enjoy um having sims 3 to 2 and sims 4 to 2 conversions um it just makes your game feel more alive obviously and um, yeah, we are going to have fun at this gym. And this is a great way to obviously get Nina to meet different sims in the neighborhood as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be um, it's going to be fun. And I can imagine Nina going to the gym quite regularly with her being a fitness sim. So, um, you know, um, it's part of her routine, I guess. But anyway, so she's just pumping some iron at the moment. She wants to... Um, Get nice and fit because she does want another job um, promotion in the future at some point. So she needs to work on that body skill, which um, she's doing fairly well. I think she's already level six in her body. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, she's level six in her body skill. So she's doing really well. And she's way on her way to becoming a level seven in the dance career. So she has definitely turned her life around. I think Nina has. She is um, wanting to do better for herself. And um, she's found a bit of happiness by dating Brandy. And, um, you know, she is way on her way to um, changing her ways, changing the way that she once lived. So, you know. So anyway, she is um, still on the machines right now. I'm going to speed this up a little bit just because I want... Um, 
uh, to get this skill fairly quickly. So it does take a while, the higher, there we go. So the higher your skill um, enhances, the longer it takes for you to get it. That's why I had to kind of um, rush it a little bit there because it, it will take forever otherwise. Um, but anyway, so that's that. Um, let's see if she can talk to some of these people here. Um, Jennifer Burbs here. Let's greet Jennifer and see if Jennifer will talk to us. Oh, where are we? There we go. So, hello, Jennifer. Oh, hello, Nina. Um, so we can talk to her a little bit, get to know her. Um, you know, I'd like, I think Jennifer would like to meet various people um, in the town because she is a savvy businesswoman. She wants to have good working relationships with people. And, you know, I think Nina appreciates how nice um, Jennifer is to everyone. So, you know, I can quite imagine these two would be friends, I reckon. But anyway... So I'm just going to let these two talk for a little bit. And then I think we'll probably head back to the house at about 3 o'clock. Because um, obviously the nanny will want to be getting back to her agency at that point. Oh dear. They're having a disagreement over something. Well, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> oh my god, Wanda does not, is not a fan of Jennifer. She's like, uh, no thanks. <laughs> well, that's fine. Don't really worry about that, Wanda. I'm not going to make you get with Nina. Um, but anyway, Nina is going to come and have a shower now. She's done for the day. And then I think we're obviously going to be sending her back home. So we'll click on Nina once she's had a shower and we will send her home. Or oh, did she come in? Oh, she came in the car, actually. So, yeah, once Nina is done, guys, we'll send her back home and then I will meet you back at the household. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I am back at Nina's lot and she's just got home from an afternoon at the gym. Um, she could do with having some coffee, I think, because her energy is quite low. So we're going to get her to come and make some coffee. Um, I've decided that I'm going to try and um, get Nina to possibly um, sack off some of these relationships that she's got with these men. Um, just because, obviously, she is interested in pursuing a future relationship with Brandy at the moment. So she does not want any of these people to... Um, obviously get in the way of that so I think once she's made herself a coffee and drunk that she's going to invite over Daniel and this Cooper Tang person and she's going to basically say to him look um, I just want to be friends I'm not interested in pursuing anything else with you guys um, I hope you understand basically so we will do that for her so we'll invite Daniel over first because he's probably going to be the one that we're going to um, have the most difficulty in doing because he's never available half the time um right oh he's actually here so let's invite over there we go she's got the jitters because she's had coffee <laughs> So it looks like Daniel's on his way over and he thinks he's going to be getting a booty call, but obviously he's going to be very disappointed when he gets here. But anyway, so Nina's just going to wait outside for him. She is not going to be letting him in at all. She's just going to be putting it straight to him and going, look, um, Daniel, I am just wanting to um, let you know that I am no longer interested in pursuing anything further with you. Um, unfortunately, I just want to be friends. Um, Asked to be friends. There we go. So, oh my God, no. Oh my God. See, this is what ACR does, guys. It just does it automatically. No, do not fall in love with him. There we go. And then we are going to add him to the friend zone. Um, add to friend zone there we go so she can no longer flirt with him in that way and Daniel seemed okay with that to be honest he's like eh whatever I'm not too bothered to be honest so we're gonna say goodbye to Daniel now no oh my god no you're not supposed to be doing that Nina I don't you know what I'm not gonna make nothing of it because she has now lost this love relationship with Daniel now so um that's fine. So she has cut it off with Daniel now. And I reckon she's going to do the same to this Cooper person. She's going to invite him over and do the same. She's going to be like, Cooper, I need you to come around, please, because I need to have a talk with you. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. I'll be right over. 
So he's another one that, that thinks he's going to get lucky with Miss Dina. Uh, Miss, Miss Dina, oh my God, Miss Nina. Um, but he's going to be in for a shock as well, I reckon. But anyway, let's um, get rid of these papers over here whilst we're waiting. Because obviously Nina is a neat freak. So she likes to make sure everything is nice and tidy. Right, here is Cooper. And again, she is just going to ask to be friends with him. And then he is uh, going to be added to the friend zone as well. Oh, you know what, Nina, just leave it there a minute. Or else he's going to leave. Right, ask just to be friends. He's like, right, I'm sorry, Cooper, but I'm going to have to um, just be friends with you now. And Cooper, he understood as well, which is good. So we've had positive reactions so far to um, Nina just being friends with people. Because um, obviously I think all these guys are romance sims. So they're not going to be heartbroken if Nina wants to cut off ties with them. Oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness me. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I don't think they're going to be too bothered about obviously Nina cutting off ties with them. Because... Um, they have obviously got other people elsewhere that they can enjoy company with. So, you know, they're not too bothered. I am hesitant in a way to um, cut things off with Don at the minute. This is purely just because, guys, that um, I've always seen Nina and Don as long-term lovers since they were teenagers. And I think Nina is personally going to find it very hard to let Don go. Um just because she's always had this love for him and although she won't want to admit it to herself I do think Don is considered her soulmate in a way I mean she is the father of her little girl um so that is another thing that makes it a bit harder for her to let go of um but at the same time she really does want to try and make this work with Brandy um so I think she's going to have a long, hard think about Don and, um, you know, she's going to have to give herself an ultimatum, I think, you know, it's either be happy with someone else or continue having these um, meaningless affairs with Don Lafario and ended up and ending up being really unhappy because I think Nina, deep down, she knows that she's not going to get Don because he is married to Cassandra. And she doesn't want to have the reputation of being a home wrecker. You know, probably once before she didn't really care about the whole commitment thing that Don had with Cassandra. But now, now that she's a mum, she kind of understands the betrayal that, um, you know, Don might cause her if them two ever did get together. Because if he can do it to his own wife, then surely he's going to be doing it to Nina. And, um, you know... I just think she's going to have to have a long, hard think about what she really wants with Don. But it's going to be very difficult for her, I think, um, to let him go. But it's something that she's going to have to obviously think about. But anyway, guys, so Nina is getting really tired now. So I'm going to send her to bed and we will pick up again in the morning. So I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, it is the next morning and Dina is up bright and early. It is the second day of winter and Nina has got up at about half past six in the morning. So she's going to get some leftovers from the fridge because she's getting a bit hungry. Um, so Nina is back at work today. So she is going to be going there I think this morning, oh no this afternoon actually, t four till ten she works now. Um, so yeah, she's going to be going to work a little bit later on. Um, which kind of sucks really because I really wanted her to go on a date with Brandy today. Um, so and she's got the want to go on a date so I'm going to lock that in. Yeah I want her to go on a date with Brandy so I might have to obviously do that this morning instead. Um, so yeah I think she just wants to see how things go with Brandy at the minute. Um, and obviously they're going to go on their first proper date with one another today which is obviously very exciting, but um, also very nerve-wracking for Nina. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to see how it goes. But anyway, she's going to come and sort Cassidy out um, really quickly this morning. Um, she's going to get herself ready for the day, wash her hands and take a shower. 
also um she's gonna phone a nanny for Cassidy while she goes on her date with um with Brandy. But anyway guys, I'm just gonna get Nina ready then I will be back in a moment. Okay guys, so I have returned and we are now with Brandy and Nina at the um fifties diner in downtown. So they are on their first date today and um they have decided to come out for some lunch this morning. Well, some brunch, really, before Nina goes to work a bit later on. So um, they are going to um, just have a bit of a casual date. They're not going to make too much of it. Um, they're just going to talk to one another, you know, share what they feel, etc. And have a nice little outing. Now, obviously, Brandy is very new to this dating a woman situation. So, um, Nina is trying to go a bit easy on her and, um, you know, take her time with um, Brandy in particular, which is obviously very nice of Nina to do. She realises that this is probably a bit nervy for um, Brandy. But either way, they're getting on really well. They're at good date already, so I might have them now sit reseated. And we're going to order some brunch for the pair of them. When they stop talking, that is. <laughs> no, I don't want to visit another lot. Thank you. Right, guys, come on. We haven't got all day. We've literally got till 4pm. Right, so they're going to be seated now. And oh, the glitchy waiter is back. Hello, Adam. <laughs> he works in all of the places in downtown, I swear to God. But anyway... So it looks like I'm going to be sat in this lovely little booth over here, which I am very keen to get a picture for the thumbnail for. Um, right, let's wait for Brandy to sit down. Lovely job. Oh my God. Right, order the chef's choice, please, Mr. Waiter. Right, let's see if I can get a lovely picture of these guys when the glitchy waiter has gone, that is. Right. Right, he's taking their order, which is fantastic. And we will get a nice little picture for all of them. Lovely. So that is a picture sorted for the thumbnail. And it looks like they are um, expecting their brunch now. So we'll see what they've ordered. So it looks like Nina has gone for the chili con carne and um, Brandy has gone for these pancake looking crepe things, which looks uh, very delicious if I say so myself. And it looks like um, Nina wants to kiss Brandy. So we're going to blow her a kiss, let her know that we think that um, she is wanted. So she's blowing her a kiss. Um, she also wants to flirt with her. So how about we caress her hands a little bit as well. She seems to like that. It looks like Brandy's got a want to make out with Nina. So um, we will obviously have to do that for them both as well. Right, girls, come and just finish your um, dinners really quickly. Looks like Brandy's done already. So we will get Nina to finish her um, chili con carne or to be fair we're not going to be able to finish it in time because Nina's going to have to go at around 3 o'clock so we need to get this show on the road guys. Right stop dining. Oh my god go away Kennedy Cox. We are on a date. Right anyway. So it looks like they both want to make out of each other so let's get that done for them both. There we go so... Nina is clearly showing Kennedy Clark that these two are an item, so they are not interested in him. And he's just like awkwardly stood there just looking at him thinking, oh God, <laughs> um, okay, I best leave you two alone then. <laughs> um, so he is now leaving, he's got the message. <laughs> but anyway, so, the, oh my God, they want to woohoo with each other. Oh my God, they're going to woohoo with each other in the photo booth. Okay, so when I said they were taking things slow, that escalated pretty quickly. And now they are both going in the photo booth for one another. 
well, there you go then. <laughs> they did not want to wait, clearly. Oh my God, they're drawing attention. And the waiters come over. Ricky Cormier's over here cheering them on. All right, well, they have now woohooed with one another, guys. So, you know. Right, I am going to get um, Nina to end the date now, I think, with Brandy, just because she has got to get back for work. So they had a very lovely date and they have now gone up the next level and woohooed with one another. So yeah, um, I think they are starting to get more serious now, um, which is obviously very good for Nina and Brandy. But will it last? This is the thing. I hope it lasts for the pair of them because I think they are um, a very loving couple. But we'll have to obviously find that out later on in the episodes. But anyway, so Nina's going to head off home now, guys. So I'll see you back at the lot. Okay, guys, I am back with Nina and she has now returned home from work. Um, obviously, I did not carry on from Nina leaving Brandy at the um, 50s diner because she did have work pretty much straight away when she got home from work, uh, home from her date. Oh, and look, and Brandy's left us some flowers. Oh, that is so sweet of her. We're going to put them in the kitchen over here where she can have a look at them. So cute. But anyway... So Nina and Brandy had a very nice time out on their date and obviously things got a bit more frisky and they ended up woohooing. Oh my God, why is there two nannies here? Right, dismiss both of you. Off you go, the pair of you. We do not need you both here anymore. Thank you very much. So yeah. So yeah, they had a very nice date, um, both of them. And um, now Nina is going to come and spend some time with her daughter, um, cuddle her and play with her before she goes to bed. Because she's been very busy lately, Nina has, and she's not really had much time to spend with Cassidy. Um, so now she's making the most of it. She's um, having some fun with her daughter, giving her a cuddle, we'll feed her a bottle as well. And then we'll put her back to bed which is very cute. So I'm going to have Nina probably come and um, wash her hands, have a shower, and then go to bed herself. Oh, she's not even tired yet. Well, that's okay. But yeah, so they had a very nice date, the pair of them. And um, there's no signs yet that Nina is getting cold feet about this relationship with um, herself and Brandy. So that is obviously a very good thing. She is wanting to potentially settle with Brandy at some point and... Um, I think I can officially say now that these two are um, a couple because they have done the deed and um, they are obviously very interested in one another. I'm a bit, bit gutted really they don't have any chemistry with one another, but um, you know, maybe this is for a reason. Maybe Nina initially likes Brandy, but probably doesn't like her enough to stay with her. Who knows at this point? We're just going to have to find that out later on in the... Um, in the rounds that we do with Nina and um, Brandy. But anyway, guys, I am going to get Nina to bed shortly. Um, so I will pick up in the morning yet again and we'll be on our last day of winter and our last day of this episode. So I'll see you guys a bit later on. Okay, good morning, everybody. It is the last day of winter and the last day of this um, episode that we'll be doing with Nina. Um, and she is up at about just gone 20 past seven and her shower is broken this morning. So she is going to try and repair it and have a shower and obviously sees little Cassidy when she's all ready. Sorry guys, I was just checking because my dog is making some noises underneath my feet. I was wondering if he was chewing something, but he's okay. Um, so yeah, we are going to get Nina ready for her day once she has fixed the shower. And then we'll probably decide what we want to do with her. Um, to be fair, she's going to be at work later, so we're probably not going to do a lot with her. Um, but she's gained a mechanical skill point, which is handy. In fact, I think she, oh no, she needs a charisma skill point. Ah, oh, damn it. So we're not going to be able to get Nina promoted yet because she has no interest in that at the moment. Um, but you know, that's fine. 
We can obviously try it again a bit later and see if she has any want to do that a bit later on. Um, let's come and give her some breakfast in the meantime. And I think we're going to call Dina up this morning and um, possibly just have a bit of a chat with her. Because uh, Nina is going to have to probably break um, the news to Dina that she is seeing Brandy. And, um, you know, she, I think now that they are a couple, um, she's going to obviously have to tell Dina. Um, but we're not going to tell her over the phone. We're going to um, probably do this in the next episode. Um, we'll invite Dina around and then two can have a bit of a discussion about um, um, their relationship. So we're just going to talk on the phone for now. And uh, they're just having a bit of a catch up about their week. And um, I just like to pretend that Dina's telling Nina about all the dates that she's had with other people. And, um, you know, she's still receiving lots of money off Mortimer, etc. Um, Nina doesn't really have the time for this, to be honest. But she does listen to what Dina's got to say. Because um, if not, um, D Dina creates more drama. And it's honestly too much for Nina to handle at this point. But anyway... She does try and listen to her, young, uh, her sister because she does love her sister very dearly. But um, I think she doesn't particularly like her ways very much. Um, but anyway, so she's now finished her phone call with Dina. So now she's going to come and look after little baby Cassidy because she needs changing. And I definitely think Nina is a very good mum. More so than her sister, to be honest. Um Although she's never had a child before, she's adapted to parenthood very well um, within this episode. She learnt how to study parenting from that um, skill book that she read. And now she is focusing on looking after Cassie to the best of her abilities. And she's doing really well. I will praise her on that. She's doing very well. She remembers to change her, feed her, show her affection and um, look, at, look after her fairly well. And whilst having a relationship and working. So she is doing fairly well for herself, which I'm proud of Nina for. She's definitely changed a lot in her ways from where we knew her as being a primary romance sim, not wanting to commit to anyone. And, um, you know, she's managed to turn her life around, which you've got to commend her for, for that. Because I never expected um, Nina to... Um, do that really um because obviously she was a notorious not romance sim um but you know but anyway guys so i'm just gonna let nina do her own thing for a little bit and i'll be back when um something else happens with her so just bear with me i'll see you guys in a bit okay guys i'm back with nina now and she is just taking into some um leftover lunch that the um nanny made us um she did some lobster fermidor um, so she's just tucking into that and I think she's going to quickly just do some exercise on her um, bike before she go. well not her bike, sorry, her um, iron machine before she goes to work. And um, she wants to enhance her body skill a bit more yet again, so we're going to try and get that for her. Um, I need to put her exercise bike somewhere that Dina got her because we've still got that in our inventory. Um I don't think where we can put it. I think we're going to have to put it outside for now because obviously we don't have room for it in the house. Um, so we'll leave it there for the time being. But Nina can come and um, go on that a bit later on, probably in the next episode. But anyway, so she's going to be pumping some iron for a little bit and she's got to go to work now. So we will see her a little bit later on. Oh, Brandy's here and so is um, this random townie man. Sorry, honey, we are going to work, Brandy. Um, but she said, I'll see you later, hun. Um, I'll call you tomorrow. And Brandy's like, okay, have fun at work. <laughs> but anyway, so guys, um, I'm going to um, obviously let Nina go to work. And then when she's back later, we will catch up a little bit more. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I have returned and Nina has just finished work today. And she is going to be getting herself and Cassidy ready for bed. Um, I apologise about the last two days of playing Nina being a little bit boring, to be honest. We've not really done much with her, to be fair. Um, hopefully, as we start playing Nina, things will get a bit more interesting. And um, obviously, if her and Brandy continue to um, 
um, be dating nicely and um, no problems occur, then we might even think about moving the both of them in together. So obviously that's going to be very nice and um, obviously it will help with obviously our storyline for the both of them. But anyway, so I'm going to dismiss this nanny because we don't need her now. Right, say goodbye to the nanny. Thank you very much. Right, and looks like Cassie's sleeping, so I'm not going to bother with her at the minute. Um, I am going to get Nina to have a shower um, before she goes to bed. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys, for um, Nina and Cassidy. Um, so I think I'm going to end the episode here now, guys. Um, so thank you very much for watching this episode with Nina. And, um, you know, we've accomplished quite a lot. Obviously, um, Nina and Brandy are now an item. Um, Nina gave birth to Cassidy right at the start of the episode. So, um, you know, we've got through quite a little bit with Nina, which I'm glad to say. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, as I said, I'm going to leave the episode here. And then in the next part, we will focus a bit more on Nina and Brandy. Potentially getting Nina to meet Brandy's children and um, see how Dustin and Dina take to the um, situation of um, their, the pair of them dating, really. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I shall see you next time. Bye bye for now.